What's up guys? I'm back out here working on the John boat. In the last video, I started prototyping how I was gonna do the rod locker on the boat. I've been really trying to flesh out how I wanted that to all work. I redid the foam in the front. I got it to fit the area really well. I actually added an extra rod holder within it. It was all looking really good until I started to add the framing for how this was gonna go. As I got further into it, I'm realizing that the rod locker is gonna take up too much floor space for some other ideas that I have in the works. Instead of doing the rod locker enclosed idea, the rods are gonna clip into a vertical style rod mount and the majority of it is gonna be under the front deck. That's gonna leave the whole side area here nice and open. And I think that's gonna work a lot better for what I have planned. All right, so the first thing I wanna work on is getting this front bench panel. I need to do a face panel and then a top panel. The height of this front panel here is at least the thickness of this piece of wood over the top brace. So when the other piece of wood sits down, these two things meet flush. 53 inches wide by 11 and 7 eighths tall. The trapezoid thing we're coming across and then it's gonna get slanted down on each side and then a bottom. 53 inches in width, 11 and 7 eighths in height, 48 and 3 quarters on the bottom. Let's get this marked out on a piece of plywood and see if we can get this cut. All right, so first I need to come up 11 and 7 eighths inch tall. I'm gonna cheat, Let's use this piece of wood because it's the height I want it. Now we need to come out 53 inches wide. We have our top line at the 11 inches and 7 eighths. Um, we came out 53 inches. This is the top left corner. Now I need to measure out the bottom width and then find the difference between the top height cut that in half and then come in that amount on each side so the smaller bottom is centered on the larger top measurement. There's a lot of things I excel at in life, but unfortunately mental math is not one of them. All right, 53 inches minus uh, 48.75. So we're at four and a quarter inches difference between the top and the bottom. So that means if we take that and divide that by two, that's 2.125, so two and an eighth. So what I can do is draw this line straight down and then come in two and an eighth inch on each side, and then that should be our bottom width. Do two and an eighth, just right here. Okay, now these two measurements should measure out to the 48 and three quarters. 48 and three quarters, perfect. We're gonna go from the top left corner down to that mark. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and do the one over here. Top right corner, down to this inside measurement. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and cut this angle here. All right, well, there we go. I think that came out pretty darn good. All right, let's go ahead and fit this in the boat and see how it looks. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Okay, that looks good. Now I need to work on setting myself up some mounting points. So I think what I'm gonna do is use aluminum and just rivet a couple pieces on here to give myself some faces. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, get some pieces rivet onto the sides here, and then we'll go from there. If any of you guys are in the Midwest, you can kind of appreciate this. We have had a 70 degree temperature swing in the last week. Last week, it was about negative 15. Today, it's 60. So first thing I did was I got a couple of these braces cut. Uh, first thing I wanna do is get all these riveted in place, then I can start setting up the wood. You guys have to promise not to judge me if I do this a little awkwardly. I'm 6'2", working around this boat is a little difficult. All right, so what I'm gonna do is measure this, the same height on each side, so that way once the wood is on the front of it, I know exactly where the uh, mounting point is. So we're gonna come up six inches and center this right on six inches.
So something I'm gonna do uh, before I actually affix this to the boat is I wanna seal it with epoxy, but I'm gonna drill out the holes now. That way when I do the epoxy, it seals the inside of the holes too. So it's hopefully gonna keep out like any moisture that can get into this wood and hopefully keep this around for, for quite a while. It's gonna be on the inside of that line. got attachment point here, here, and here, and then we're drilled into the center of that, close to the center of that, and close to the center of that. All right, well, that looks good. So at this point, I don't really need to do much else to this piece until I seal it. Uh, I'm going to be sealing everything together, so I'm just going to put a hold on this. Uh, now I'm going to start working on the cover piece for up top here. Uh, I'll show you guys how I get that all measured out, and hopefully we can get it cut. Also doing a live at the same time, if you guys are catching that. I'm going to try to do these more often if you guys like them. All right, so before I cut the angles for that top piece, I want to make sure that I'm accounting for the rib. So I think what I'm going to do is use a piece of cardboard and make myself a little template just to get this angle correct. All right, so this is how the template's looking now. I was able to trim out for the rib. I need a little bit more trimming towards the backside there to get that little gap closed in but then this will pretty much account for the curvature of the boat. And I can apply this curve to the piece of wood I'm about to cut. And then hopefully this should just slot right in place. Graceful as always. Slide it from the top to the ribs flat. Nothing's rubbing. I got a little bit of wiggle room on each side, front and back, back and left. That's perfect. All right, so at this point, I have the top and front paneling for the bench seat cut. I am super happy with how this came out. Basically, I did a rough cut, then I used a cardboard template to notch out for the ribs. Then I came back with the orbital sander and touched up any places that were binding slightly, like on the ribs. So at this point, I just wanna go ahead and drill some holes for the top part here to get the mounts done, and then I'll be able to epoxy everything with the hole points drilled. All right, so like I mentioned earlier this morning, uh, the temperature swings around here are pretty crazy. Uh, this morning it was about 60, now it's dropped down to about 40 within the day. So starting to bundle up a little bit more, but we're making a lot of progress. All right, so I was just laying down on my back, looking up from the underside of this board, and I used the pencil to kind of mark out the edge of the container on the underside of this piece of wood here. That way I just have a rough idea for when I cut my hatch and also what size hatch I need. I'll, I'll know how that's gonna work. So as long as I keep my mounting points within, uh, you know, these areas here, that should give me enough attachment points. Okay, that'll keep the wood in place where it needs to be. Make sure all the holes line up when we're done. All right guys, well at this point, I'm really happy with how this front bench sheet is coming out. In the next video, I'm gonna be working on the side panels and getting everything epoxied so I can start working on the flooring. Now that the top lid is complete and I've measured out the storage bin from the underside, I can start looking at options for hatch lids and access to the storage bin. All right, so just a couple things before I end the video. If you guys were on the live today, thank you very much for joining. I'm gonna to try to do them more often, and I'm also gonna to try to do a scheduled thing so you guys have a chance to know when I'm gonna be online. Also, if any of you guys are on Discord, it's an online chat service. Uh, I created a server for the channel and the community, so if you guys wanna jump on there and chat with me or anyone else building boats, you're welcome to join. I put a link in the description, so it's really easy, it's free. You know, just come on there and chat. If you guys found this video helpful or you just enjoyed watching it, don't forget to hit that like button. I use the likes on my videos to kind of see what you guys like and where I should focus content in the future. Also, if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel and it keeps you updated on what's going on with the build. If you guys have any questions on what I worked on today or have any feedback on how I can make it better, don't forget to leave a comment below and thanks for watching.
they're watching. <laughs>